Um, hi, this is Chair Monkey One, and um, I guess I'm gonna do like a little documentary of me and my dad's brewing, uh, brewing, I guess. He's brewing mead, and probably gonna start doing alcohol and other things, like more alcohols. And I'm gonna be in charge of the sodas. Um, today I'm gonna start making a ginger ale, just a taster. And if I like the taste, and you know, if everyone else likes the taste, we're gonna start making it as a regular thing. And then I might add strawberries, I might like make some other flavors, root beer maybe, because I'm not too fond of homemade root beer because I've had bad experiences with it. So uh, basically, I'm just gonna make it on um, this day I think maybe we're gonna get the ingredients I need to make it and yeah um, I'm gonna show you the bottle I'm gonna make it in so yeah okay hi I'm back um, so what we're looking at right now is gonna be the bottle here it is seems pretty big yeah um, it's probably gonna only feel like up to this top piece right here but it's one of the cork ones, I don't know what he calls it. You just lift up here, and then you take that off, and you just look inside of it, pass that, then you close it back up, and close it. That's basically it right now. Uh, I'll be back with how to make it in a sec. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm back. It, it was... We got, I've got all the ingredients from Safeway, um, and it was just too late, I guess, to, you know, make a mess in the kitchen. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to show you my dad's honeymead. But I wanted to talk about what might be coming in with getting, like, my brood uh, ginger ale, um, yeah, I've got to see if I'm actually looking at it, so, I forgot what this is called, but it has something to do with diamond, I wanted to focus on it, but it's really not, <laughs> and then we got this, which I like a lot, um, I mean, this is just mine, so, I'm, you know, I'm keeping it, and, uh, you have the hoop. <laughs> the one-handed is kind of hard, sorry. <laughs> and the hoop, you know, does that. Um, I'm going to show you some of my dad's, because he's the one that started me wanting to make it. So, yeah, I'm going to go to... The mead first, then the yarn. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is Tramagoon, and I'm showing you my dad's home, my dad's honey mead. Um, okay. This is four gallons right now, and it's 14 through 16 percent. We haven't checked since last time. He just put more uh, lemons, which adds the acid to it. And up here, you can tell if it's fermenting, it will bubble. But when he first started, you should have seen it, it was going crazy. It was just bubbling and bubbling. Oh, oh, good, it showed you. I'm glad it showed you that. <laughs> that means. That means it's fermenting well. It's gonna might add more water to it afterwards. And yeah. So I'll come over to the kitchen. <laughs> to the kitchen. Sorry about this. Um, here's some of the lemons. I don't know how many he's I think he's put in two already. But he's gonna put the acid in it, which I think helps 
the percent of the alcohol to make it a higher percent. And uh, so right now he has six lemons. And <laughs> today I got my yeast, three packages. So I'm gonna be able to make a lot of ginger ale and a lemon <laughs> because I need a lemon. And I already have the ginger and the sugar. So yeah. Okay, hi. I am back. I just collected all my dad's stuff. And one of mine that I just found, like literally just found, um, it's not really good because it's made out of shoestring. So I'll show you. Here it is. It's supposed to be a globe, but it's it's out of sh shoestring, so obviously it's bad. So yeah. Um, my dad just worked on a bracelet for one of his uh, friends, a uh, kid. And uh, he, I guess he's a he's a Giants fan. He's in college, I believe, and it's it's literally super flat. Like it's my favorite because it's like so like new and bright, and he's like this faded color, you know. <laughs> and we got a bunch of it still, but I'm gonna make one like this. But it's gonna be black and bl blue, like a light blue, because I just like. You know, the light blue, maybe purple, because purple is my favorite color. So yeah, I don't know what he called, I don't know what this knot is called. But, uh, a lot of these he's learned, not a, like a lot, but the newer ones he's learned is mainly from tying it all together. I probably will put a link down in the description of tying it all together, but I really want to support him. So here's this, it's like a triangle circle thing and then here's like a braid I like this one too and then here's a slip like a slip knot one but it's really long like really long and we have one more thing my camera's about to die and it's this it, it's like a grip for the weapon he's making uh, not weapon really but a stick for karate and like it has nice grip and it's just really good. He does that on his walking stick, too. So, yeah. And that's how I got inspired. Bye. See you tomorrow.